Today we're reading Third Grade Angels by Jerry Spinelli. We're reading chapter two. Um, yesterday we read chapter one and it ended with Suds or George as we found out his first name is at his first day of school of third grade and he met his teacher Miss Sims and she is super excited to have them all. She's really into them being angels. They were talking all about what is an angel and she basically said as long as you do your best that means you're being a third grade angel. You're doing everything you can do. She also said that you might need a little incentive or some prizes to make sure that you keep doing your best. She ended the chapter by saying, have I got a prize for you? And it cut her off mid sentence. Now chapter two is called prize and we're gonna find out what that prize is. So let's get started and look at chapter two. The chapter is called The Prize. Just loading. So chapter two, The Prize. It was a circle of yellow cardboard. Halo, voices called. Halo it is, said Mrs. Sims. Wonder if it fits. She put it on her head. She smiled and blinked her eyes. Like an angel, I guess. We laughed. So, she said, who would like to win a halo? Every hand went up, but one. Mrs. Sims looked surprised. Not you, Joseph? Joseph shrugged. He dragged his hand into the air. Sure, why not? She nodded. Indeed, why not? So here's the deal. Beginning in October, one angel per week will get to wear a puppy just like this. By puppy, she meant halo, which she waved at us. When your boss angel week is over, she grinned at Joseph, you may take your halo home. You may sleep with it for all I care. So the prize is a halo. And it's almost like if you've ever been in a class where you get to be, you know, the student of the week or the class leader for the week. And maybe you get a little something to hold on to for the week. It's, that's the idea. So one student per week or one angel per week is going to be um, the boss angel, which if you remember in chapter one, I think Joey or Joseph said, are you our boss angel if the, to the teacher? So she's saying that that student every week will be the boss angel and then they get to keep it after that week. We laughed again. So you ask, how do I get my halo, Mrs. Teacher? She pointed at us. Ah, good question. Becoming an angel. Poof, that was easy. All you had to do was make it to third grade. But this, she jabbed the halo at us. This you have to work for. This you have to earn. Billy Umberger's hand was waving. How do we earn it, Mrs. Sims? She blew Billy Umberger a kiss. I love a kid who asks the good questions. We laughed. We were spending a lot of time laughing. Let me throw the question back at you guys. She called us guys. Cool. What do you think you have to do to win your halo? Hands went up. She called on Judy Billings. Judy had a butterfly thing holding her hair back from her right ear. I had liked Judy Billings ever since first grade, but I never before had such a good look at the back of her ear. Talk about perfect. Any angel would be proud to have that ear. Be good, Judy said like she was daring anyone to disagree. Okay, said Miss Sim, Mrs. Sims. She repeated it as she wrote on the board. Be good. She turned back to us. What else? Ronald? Help people, said Ronald Chu. Mrs. Sims wrote on the board, helpful. She looked over. Jendai? Jendai? I'm not sure which one it is. Jendai or Jendai? You guys can let me know. Jendai Owen said, be nice. Nice, wrote Mrs. Sims. So, so far it's almost like school rules that we have made in class, like all pretty basic things. Be good, be nice, um, help others. Can you think of any other, I guess not rules or ideas that you think that Miss Sims might have in mind? Let's see. And so it went, friendly. Obedient, Mrs. Sims wrote, behave. Joseph put his hand over his mouth and whispered real low, boo. He looked at me and grinned. 
do your homework, eat your vegetables. That was Bernard Weber. Lots of laughing and groaning, but Mrs. Sims wrote it. Wash your ears, neat cubbies. That was me. Spelling, give the teacher an apple. That was Joseph, laughing and clapping. Mrs. Sims wrote, love your teacher. Big cheers, even a whistle. You can see here's a picture of her writing all those things down and the kids raising their hands. By the time the last hand was called on, the board was almost full. Mrs. Sims took a deep breath. Well, there you go. Look how many ways there are to earn your halo. Get the picture, angels? Yes, we shouted. She snapped her fingers and pointed to us. All right then, I've done my job. The rest is up to you. She looked at the calendar on the wall. 25 days till October. I wonder which angel will be first to get a halo. We all wondered with her. Mrs. Sims, it was Billy Umberger, itching for another kiss, I figured. Yes, Billy, does everybody get a halo? What do you think she's gonna say? Do you think she's gonna say, you know, every person will get a halo by the end of the year? Or no, in order to get a halo, you have to do these things, and if you don't, you won't get one. What do you think? Which do you think will be better? Mrs. Sims blinked like the question surprised her. I hope so. I expect every one of you to prove to me you're worthy of being an angel. I've been doing this for 12 years now, and so far every one of my students has earned his or her halo. Somebody blurted, even Gerald Willis? I heard gasps. 23 heads jerked in my direction because the somebody who blurted was me. So Suds said that. He said, even Gerald Willis? Joseph reached across and punched my arm. You da dude. I couldn't believe myself. All of a sudden, it was like there was no door between my brain and my mouth. As for Gerald Willis, he was a fifth grader, a troublemaker, and a bully. The class was laughing, but Mrs. Sims wasn't even smiling. She stared at me. I said, everybody. I wanted to jump to my feet and call out, I'm sorry, Mrs. Sims. I, I don't know what I was, I don't know what's getting into me. I'm not usually a big mouth. The bell rang for recess. I was first out the door. So what are we noticing about suds that keeps happening? This is at least the second time that he's, you know, we were reading and somebody called out and it ended up being suds. And it was, you know, not an inappropriate comment both times. This last one, it was kind of inappropriate. You know, you don't want to call someone out in front of the whole class, even if he is a bully or a little bit of a troublemaker. Um, but so that is kind of interesting that twice now that has happened. Interesting. All right, we will read chapter three tomorrow. Bye guys.